previously. That's up there like that. Yeah, I don't need any teleportation back because if I'm coming back I might as well just use my magic mirror. Yes, so I want to quickly craft up some dirt walls. I'm not sure how many. That will do. More than enough, I'm sure. And then we head across. In fact, this teleporter. Hmm, I could wire this teleporter up to... Uh, the teleporter Yggdrasil so I could teleport literally straight to the tree and then I think the way I've wired it up it should always teleport me to the other side of the tree and never never back home is that right? I don't know anyway there's a tiny hole behind here and it annoys me so I'm filling it in there we go and bonk, and we're here and we can do the same here look just fill that in. And this is something I only noticed early today, actually. The teleporters blink on and off with their glowing. That's cool. Also, someone mentioned you can hammer them, which is true. I just... I'm not a big fan of them looking hammered, at least not here. It doesn't suit it. If I was making a, sp a special type of area, maybe I would hammer them. But for now, here's kind of what it looks like. You can squish it down. You can make it slanted. Make it completely upside down. Wow. But you can't do the middle one, I think. No, you can. I thought you could do all but the middle. Could I make an upside down teleporter? I need to test this now. I really need to test this. I would need... I, I, I imagine it would just pop off though, wouldn't it? Hmm, where is it? Here we go. Low on teleporters, actually. We should probably... Some, can I put a teleporter just on the underside of a block? No. So can I make this look upside down? Let's have a look. Like that. Is that right? How do I do this? Oops. Is that right? I'm... I've greatly confused myself. That's up at that angle. That looks pretty cool. But is that just going to reset those? That does. Man, you wouldn't even know this is a teleporter. No, I can't make it look upside down. Oh well. I take my words back. It looks pretty cool. I just have nowhere where it would suit looking like that. So with it being daytime and since there's hate hating shopping during the evening, let us actually make our way to the mechanic and buy a bunch of teleporters. I want to fill my wiring chest up because most of this stuff is annoying. Now you know I got lots of timers done already. In fact we'll buy loads of wire too because I think our wire is pretty low. 79 gold. I think that's probably enough for a a fair amount of stuff, get out. So let's buy this stuff, oops. Up to st Steampunker, do you do teleport? You do teleporters, okay. That's probably why I didn't buy any in a while. 20 will do for now. And then, oh, you've come to see me, even more perfect. I would like just a squidjabillion of this. That is me out of money. That's fine. Store the rest of it in there. This can go in the bin. We have some slime and some lenses on us, but we'll put those away at a different time. No point going straight to the underwater dungeon just for this tiny amount. Boom, boom, boom. Interesting fact. I was originally going to build the suggestion board here. Then I realised... 
once you guys are aware of this, the suggestion board, you're going to be suggesting a lot of stuff, so I need a lot more room than this. It was originally just like six signs. So I built this. I can even put a third floor on the or third row if I need to. So let us just quickly sit in here and let's peruse my actual list of things to do. Suggestion board. Done. Defeat Plantera. We're putting that off for a while. Complete the... I nearly said Yogg's cast. The Yggdrasil Teleporters. Done. Travelling Merchant. Still hasn't come back. What a butt. That's a secret thing for later. That's annoying and I don't want to do it. This is something very short, but I would like to test it out. And that is the... Uh... ba 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 da ba it's not even in these chests. Also, to answer someone's question that they posted yesterday, I think it was, they asked me, there, there was a shield with a white dot in it, in this chest, and they wanted to know what it was, because they can't find information on the wiki. Now, I would point out, I think it was the Paladin shield that you're looking for, because the sprite for this was very recently changed, so it used to look different to this, so I think... That's the shield you're looking for, the Paladin Shield. Check out the old variant of it. Now, I want my freaking jack o' lantern mask. What the crap? Cycling through these things makes sense. What I want to do, I actually want to see. I don't know if I tested this last time. I want to see. We tested what this looks like with rainbow dye. I wonder what this looks like with intense rainbow dye. I imagine that could look. Does that look good? I don't know. Maybe flame dye would look good. Oops, not in there. We don't have flame dye though, unfortunately. How do I... Oh, it's because I selected two of them. Nah, that's horrible. Horrible blue stuff. Again, I selected two. I just want one. Red pumpkin's kind of poop. Black. Nah, I'm not a fan of the black one. Silver? Ooh, that's bright. And I don't want to go for those. I imagine the flame dye might look cool. I don't know, but it might. Because I kind of want to... Ah, that goes in my inventory. I kind of want to have this pumpkin as being my vanity set. Because, kind of a secret for a few episodes of time, I'm planning on getting rid of the tiki vanity set. Because, not long from now... I'm not going to need it anymore. That goes in here. So, I'm thinking pumpkin head, and then other robes. Now, people did suggest me to use the vampire's robes, I think it was. But, they're kind of already in cloud storage, and I don't know if I have any dupes of them. So, I'm going to head across there now, and we can check out over in cloud storage to see... Have I gone too far? I haven't gone far enough. We'll check in cloud storage, see what we have duplicates of, and then if we have a duplicate of it, we could potentially wear that too. I don't want to use... Oh, bloody freaking harpies. I don't want to use anything that I don't have a duplicate of, because then it won't be on a, a mannequin like the rest of these, and I want them on the mannequins. So we have duplicates of uh, the xenomorph. Suit the Death's Robes. I think that comes with a scythe, which I don't like. Yeah, I'm not a fan of... Oh, maybe. Maybe with the pumpkin head on top of it. That might look pretty cool. Who knows what it looks like with the um, Rainbow Dye too. So that's all we have in terms of dupes. A lot of rotten eggs, though. And a bunch of paintings. Right, let's get out of here. That's costume storage. Some of the others might look cool, but... Like I say, I don't have the duplicate for it, and it would leave an empty mannequin... So, ooh, I'll take this. This was, surprisingly, my first Let's Build. Before I even knew that I was going to be doing Let's Builds, I made this. I was so proud. Look how far I've come. Look at the kind of basic shaping of that to look at some of my other things. I mean, look at the pirate ship. Look at Yggdrasil. Look at the pyramid. That's how far I've come in just a few Let's Builds. Right, so I think... There's money hanging around. Nice. Let's do... A couple more suggestions. Maybe. Before we leave. 
Because I kind of... I don't have anything to do in this world. I think I want to leave. Other than waiting for the travelling merchant, but he's a book that never shows up. We did the pumpkin mask. Those two aren't in this world. That's Roseanne. I need a better strategy. Yeah, screw it. Let's do some more stuff. So we have... We did that one. We're on to this one. The coin duplication glitch. Suggested by a few people, but the only one I could find recently suggesting it was Adam Calderon. Or Calderon. Isn't that a place from Star Wars? I don't know. Coin dupe glitch by Adam Calderon. Calderon. We shall get on with that. So he says that if I am to wear the Shroomite armor and place money down, when I pick it back up, it should have increased the amount. Oh crap, let's quick stack the money and then take free out. So we can see. And I think this is down to the fact that the Shroomite armor gives you a chance to not consume ammo. So, because it's money, it's like not consumed or something? Oh, I'm invisible. That takes a f effect a lot quicker than I thought it would. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. No, come back. This is going to look amazing. Don't you do this. Don't you, Connor. It's a magic trick. You ready? Ready for my magic? How do I do? Hey! Oh, never mind. Magic trick over and done with. So let's place down this three platinum coins. Like this one. Ah, there we go. Look, we still have three coins on us. Two coins. So we've actually increased up to four coins there, look. So that was a hefty investment, return on investment. Uh, let's put these four down and see what we get now. That is even more money. We now have six coins. So we've doubled our money already. One more go. Let's see how much we can get for this. Not a great deal. I think we've only got one more extra out of that. So we're up to seven. So as you can see, that is the coin duplication glitch. Works with the Shumite armor. I imagine it works with uh, other things that stop you from consuming ammo too. Which I think would be the jungle armor? No, the necro armor should do the same, which I don't have on here. And are there any others on here that I can see? Possibly, but I know the necro armor does it too. Oh, the... um. The Titan armor should have the same effect. In fact, we can always test this out in a second. Let me just put these things on here first. So if you don't have to show my armor, you should be able to do it with Necro and Titan. So let's grab Titan armor out of this. Wrong chests, I'm an idiot. Titan, here we go. Now I'll just put it straight onto my body. So the Titan Armor also has chance not to consume ammo. I think a greater chance, in fact, than the Shroomite Armor. I'm not sure. So let's place this down and see how much we get. Yeah, I think that's a much greater chance than the um, Shroomite Armor. In fact, we came with 7 and we are leaving with 12. Wow, that is a huge increase. Right, let's get our regular armor out and then we'll also grab out the necro armor and test it with that too. Now the necro armor unfortunately is over in my underwater base but that's fine because we can head over there shouldn't be an issue. Blink, blink, blank. One more. Uh, oh, we're not quite there. I always think I'm there after the fortress of the damned. We know we have Skeletron first. And then up to this, and then skippity doo dah over here. I think the necro armor is in one of these. I also think I said ammo instead of armor. Armor. There we go. So let's put this on and actually see. Does that provide a set bonus? Where's my set bonus? Twenty percent chance to not consume ammo. So this should also work. So in case you're still in the early game, I think you should also be able to do it with this. We have 12. And we now have... 
13. So obviously t- um, a 20% chance is not as great as Dragon Armor or Shroomite Armor or anything like that. But it is still a chance regardless. So if you need to duplicate money, that is how you can do it. Now we started the day with free Platinum. So what we're going to do is take one, two, three. Take that out of the bin, and then, so you can't accuse me of cheating, turn Platinum back in the bin, and destroyed. So we came with free Platinum, if you recall, and we still have free. Also, I left before I put stuff away, because I'm an idiot. <sighs> right, done. Coin duplication glitch. So, Adam Calderoon, done. Pink bonk. <laughs>